good morning happy new year right feel rough as a badger's dog is that badger's dog badger's nose badger's ass whatever i feel rough as mustard like a good grainy one not nice at all <coughs> to uh, sort my helmet out but I'm not infectious I've done all the tests all the jazz and I need to get my ass back into the gym because I'm getting fat let's just call it as it is so it's the third today uh, kids are back at school and it's surprisingly quiet what's going on was there an apocalyptic event while I was catching some Z's no right so question I get asked a lot this time of the year is through my business my practice my clinic is New Year's resolutions. So here's the thing, don't do them. Don't do them, don't entertain them, don't subscribe to them. If you want to change and you've highlighted an issue in November, October, February last year, then it should have been addressed to that point. Avoid the temptation to wait until this time of the year to go, do you know what, this year I'm going to make a difference. Because give it a couple of weeks time, you would give up on that idea. And if you cycle through that process, let's say more than three or four times, all you're doing is confirming to yourself and your subconscious that you're a failure and you never stick to anything you say you're going to do. If you've identified a problem, if it needs fixing then fix it don't just wait or avoid the temptation to wait get out there get get doing it if you say you're going to do something do it you know there is no right time to do anything ever you know the planets are never going to be aligned you're never going to have enough money you're never going to have whatever you know nothing ever will always align it's a myth don't fake it until you make it. Just get on and just do. So, if you've set a New Year's resolution, look at the intention behind that resolution, why you've never followed through with it before in the past, and then get truly honest with yourself. Like, really honest. Like, if I'm fat, it's because I eat too much. More in, less out. Simple. So cut your diet, get to the gym, or go for a walk. You know, no one needs gym membership anyway. You know, just walking every day, 40 minutes. 40 minutes of moderate walk, plus a relatively healthy diet, you know, actually works wonders. So here's the thing. If you set yourself a New Year's resolution, stop smoking, all that kind of stuff, look at, look at the reasons why, yeah? I'm not saying that you can't follow through with it, but just get on and do it. And also, people talk a lot about accountability. You know, project it to the public, let all your friends and family know. Okay, fair dues, right? There are individuals out there that lack accountability. But maybe there's a lesson in that as well for you. Keep yourself accountable to yourself. Yeah, because you will be your biggest failure. That's it. No one else is going to fail on behalf of you. You will be your biggest failure. So I would go small steps first. Think about the small steps. Think about the things that you can keep accountable to yourself, right? Oh, they're ugly, those things, aren't they? Keep yourself accountable. Well, I'm going to carry on with this anyway, because I'm having a good old run. Anyway, I'll catch you after my gym session. He's taking his laptop, my golfing. It's a new one, isn't it?
Go on, in we go. Everyone looking for New Year spaces. Oh, what a sweaty mess. So that's disgusting. So if there is a lesson, the lesson is for the day. Don't let your New Year's resolutions be a one time, one year thing. If you see identify change, make it happen. A little bit ranty just before I went into the gym and came out smelling of yesterday's curry. So yeah, I, I, th there is so much to be learned about being accountable to self. You know, and it, it, it's not difficult. It's just identifying the issues or identifying aspects of life that need changing and saying no to self. And I know it's really difficult for people to say no to oneself. It's hard. Kid riding a bicycle with his helmet on his handlebars. Brilliant. Imagine if a motorcyclist went and did that. Yeah, keep accountable to yourself. You know, and it can start with small things like, let's say for example, you are attempting to lose some of that festive comfort. It might be the fact that you just need to say no to the, to the biscuit at lunchtime. You know, no. No, I will not eat that biscuit. And it, it's amazing how quickly and how disciplined you can become. You know, I see it with parents quite a lot as well. Parents have the inability to say no to their kids and it doesn't set them up or teach them well for years to come. They have a real culture shock and I think that's half the problem with the mental illness associated with children today going off on a slight tangent here, but it is my profession, is that they don't have any boundaries. You know, they're, they're not comfortable with people telling them no, because we've just created a culture, certainly over the last, let's say, 20 years, where people can have, be and do anything they want, and there's plenty of prizes for coming last. You know, it's not about winning, but it's about winning in your own life. And I think New Year's resolutions, Ali, New Year's resolutions are one of those things. You know, you just go around life going, oh yeah, I can have that, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. And then you get to one day of the year and you go, oh, let's, let's actually do something about it. And then you kind of forget all of the pain associated with not taking that action before. And I think that there's... He was on his phone, or she was on his phone, weren't they? Landmark Groundworks. I'm going to assume that's a, that's a man. And I'm not being sexist. It's just the majority of men are in the building trade, or certainly Groundworks. I'm not really sure why. Um, yeah, accountability for your kids. You know, teach it from a young age. If you are a parent listening to my mini New Year's Day rant, start saying no when they keep going on and they can scream all they want. Take away their stuff, keep them accountable. You know, you don't want to breed a culture of children that, that have the inability to work in a space where they can't deal with being told they can't have something. Anyway, New Year's resolutions. If you've got one, Understand the reason why you've you've set it. Establish all the reasons why you can you need to take action today. Not want to, but need. Forget all the superficial stuff like the way you don't like look. If we're going weight loss, you don't like the way that you look in the mirror. Get rid of all of that. Go long term. Go health benefits. You want to wake up in the morning at 70, 80 years old and be able to tie your shoelaces, and you're not wearing Velcro shoes. So understand the why and do something about it. It's not too late, but make sure it's sustainable. Anyway, on that note, Happy New Year. I'm going to do more of these videos coming up. Bye for now.